Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 24 video in VCP8 data center virtualization 2023. In this video, I am going to show you how to upgrade your VMware ESXi host if it's running 6.7 or 7.0 to VMware ESXi host 8 by using a vCenter a lifecycle manager. So <clears throat> in this video, I am going to have two ESXi hosts which is running 6.7 and 7.0. So in addition to uh, upgrade, uh, when you are trying to upgrade your ESXi host to latest version, you need to make sure uh, your ESXi host and physical host having compatibility with add-on drivers, firmwares, uh, and if you have any uh, uh, vendors add-on like uh, any backup tool, any storage uh, storage uh, application or APIs. So you need to make sure everything is compatible with the latest ESXi 8.0 then only upgrade. If it does not uh, have a compatibility or upgrade available for ESXi 8.0 then might be it going to break post upgrade. So uh, before upgrade, I recommend you to go and check each and everything in your infrastructure, whatever ESXi host having, uh, <coughs> like plugins, uh, APIs access or anything. If you want to uh, <coughs> have an upgrade, make sure uh, everything is compatible with ESXi 8. And most importantly, you need to also check your physical server like Dell, HP, whatever ser servers you are using is it compatible with 8.0 and uh, it is officially supported from uh, OEM uh, to run ESXi 8.0 so let's move ahead this is our uh, infrastructure which we are going to use in in, uh, in this demo so first two machines are uh, uh, first one is my domain controller which we are using from since first video and second one is our vCenter server appliance which is running vCenter server 8.0 and then we got two ESXi hosts which we are going to upgrade in this video. So ESXi 5 running ESXi 6.0 and ESXi 6 uh, which is running uh, ESXi 7.0. So if I show you these are the my machines which is running on uh, you know, vCenter infrastructure uh, VMware workstation infrastructure. So this is 5 and this is 6. So in last video what we have done we have upgraded uh, we have basically done the patching on both ESXi 5 and ESXi 6 so we'll see uh, you will be able to see the attached baseline which is a predefined baseline for uh, patching is compliant so this is good now to <coughs> basically if you want to do a one second let me show you so if you want to do a patching uh, or upgrade so first thing you need to go in uh, place which is uh, basically so you need to go to lifecycle manager and you will see here uh, we got all the ESXi version available here whatever latest version is still late up uh, basically released it's available here and vendor advance is also there so everything is predefined here but if you want to have a up, uh, upgrade then what you need to do you need to have a import iso and you need to create a baseline so if i go here so we have two options create baseline and create baseline group so i'll show you how to do that so the first the very first thing you need to have a your iso imported so i'm going to import my iso here so I have already downloaded this uh, ISO image, so I'm going to upload this. Uh, so, <coughs> uploading ISO is going to be very quick because it's a 600 uh, MB file. So, once the uh, ESXi, uh, basically ESXi ISO imported, then you need to create baseline. So baseline is going to be a for upgrade because since we are going to upgrade our ESXi host from 6.7 or 7.0 to 8. So there are three type of baseline upgrade, extension and patch. So uh, in last video we have worked on baseline which is predefined created for patching. So now in this video we are going to focus on uh, upgrade baseline. So it's going to finish you so uploading is going to 
finish now. <coughs> so it's finished now. You can see now it's adding to repository. So it's going to be quick. So done. Now you, you will see here ESXi 8.0 and standard and you will see here version 8.0.0 build number uh, build number you can see and all this uh, partner acceptance level is partner and everything is done now if you will see here what whatever is inside the that ESXi host you will be able to see here so now I need to go and create a baseline so baseline I'm going to create first I'm going to create a baseline so in baseline I'm going to select upgrade and then I'm going to give uh, <coughs> upgrade or something like this upgrade and the next I need to select ISO click next and then I can go ahead and finish so now by using this uh, uh, baseline I can go ahead and up, uh, upgrade our ESXi host so I'm going one step ahead and creating baseline group so for baseline group what you have to create like with uh, let's say upgrade or something ESXi 8 upgrade with patches okay so next I'm going to select my ESXi 8 ISO which is our baseline and then I'm going to select my all the patches of up uh, like non-critical critical host security patches and then click next an extension I'm not going to select anything so just click finish so now in this baseline group what we have we have ESXi upgrade and then we have added all the predefined patches and baseline patches so click on finish now you will see here it will show you the group and upgrade so this is good now we have create imported our ISO we have created two baseline one for upgrade only one for upgrade with all the patches and everything and now what I'm going to do I'm going on my inventory and here now I'm going to attach uh, attach baseline so first I'm going to attach on 6.7 I'm going to attach only upgrade baseline so click OK and now this is good and now what I'm going to do I'm going to remediate this so this is only going to have a latest ESXi so if I show you ESXi version on my uh, ESXi 5 you can see uh, ESXi 6.7.0 this build number is running so this is good I'm going to click on accept and now what it's going to do the current version you can see and install ISO VMware ESXi 8.0 so this is good now remade it so on this ESXi 5 I'm going I'm running ESXi upgrade only and on uh, ESXi 6 I'm going to run ESXi 8 upgrade with patches so I'm going to attach this baseline first so you will see here non compliant now what I'm going to do I'm going to click on so if you see here uh, everything is ISO updates are showing there so this is good I'm going to run a remediate and then I accept ok and then it will show you oh, it has 7.0 and it's going to show you this uh, patches and uh, install image also so you will see here it's going to apply this image and then four updates so four updates if you see here it's going to update these all things so this is good now just click on remediate so now you will see remediation has started for both 5 and 6 5 even went in maintenance mode and it will reboot soon I guess you can go here and see uh, it will reboot soon so patching and upgrade has started so I'm going to pause recording for some time once the reboot is done I'm going to resume from there so we can validate uh, upgrades on the these machines so So now you will see here uh, host 5 uh, host 5 upgrade is completed 
and if you go to summary you will see here ESXi version is upgraded and you can see same in the status also here so if I go ahead and run the check compliance again to just make sure uh, so last uh, up, for upgrade ESSI upgrade you will see here last modification is uh, one hour back uh, uh, sorry six minute back and this is one hour back so we need to check and make sure our ESXi host is uh, compliant to other security critical and non-critical uh, <coughs> baseline also so that's why I'm running this scan and <coughs> uh, in this uh, ESXi 5 where we have only executed upgrade so we need to verify these things also and ESXi 6 and if I go here and show you the console of ESXi 5 you will be able to see here VMware ESXi 8.0 so this is got uh, this is got upgraded so this is good now wait for some time and let's review this also once this is completed and now ESXi 6 is also rebooted I guess so if I go here now you will see ESXi 6 is rebooted and it's showing the version 8.0.0 so this is good now it's in maintenance mode soon it will come out from maintenance mode once the uh, pre-check is uh, compliance is checked so we need to wait for some time so now if you see here uh, this host compliant critical non critical is showing non compliant uh, compliant because we have not done patching with the complete baseline group so now what i'm going to do i'm going to apply these patch, uh, remediation also so total 156 patches including 31 critical and 8 security so i'm going to remedy this also so if you're not running um, uh, latest uh, latest patches and security and critical patches along with ESXi host upgrade you have option to do it later also so 150 update you will you can verify whatever updates are here so I'm going to run it so remediate so this is going to remediate everything uh, now uh, including patches and uh, <coughs> Uh, this upgrade also so everything is going to be compliant so if I go to 6 6 is still running so it will take few more minutes to get complete so I'm going to pause recording here so now host 6 you can see <coughs> the upgrade is completed now and the compliance status uh, baseline compliance status also you can see the upgrade is for upgrade is compliant and for uh, host and critical security is compliant so this is good so uh, it means when we applied this change uh, baseline which is upgrade with patches it worked and it uh, it has all the critical patches and everything reinstalled so if you see here ESXi version is 8.0.2 and if you see on ESXi 5 basically so also you can see the ESXi is upgraded and now since we have uh, uh, applied this uh, ho uh, host and critical non-critical patches also on ESXi, uh, ESXi 5 it shows the compliance so basically in this video what we have done we have upgraded our ESXi uh, host from ESXi 6.7 and 7.0 to 8.0 and then we have applied with the baseline only with the ESXi upgrade and then the second baseline with the upgrade and all the critical as uh, critical and security passes and everything so this is all about how you can upgrade your ESXi host by using eCenter server lifecycle manager so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye